Hey, Jono here. Thank you for joining me for Pandemonium 2. It's time for Puzzlewood. Um, now, I had actually... Um, what I've done is I... Well, what I haven't done is saved my audio for um, this level. So my audio is like a post-recorded commentary, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a bit of a different styled episode because I'm not actually reacting as I'm playing. I'm just watching this and commenting over it. Um, I didn't save my audio because I'm an idiot. I thought I had done it and I had it. So Puzzlewood seems to be based in hell from the looks of it. Um, it took me quite a while to click that there are puzzle pieces carved into the wood, hence the episode's, well, the level's name. Um, yeah, I don't know why they went with that, but they did. Yep, need that guy to fuck off. Yeah, I find this power up. Uh, it's a mixed bag. It's good in some ways that it um, it's a little, like latches on to an enemy. Whereas I, you know, these ones are more like like this fireball thing. You have to be directly in line with it. The only problem is the whole like tug of war thing going on with it. We um yeah, there are some situations where the power up I've got now is far more useful. That's an interesting interesting idea. See I don't know if you can use that other one while on vines or whatever. Feels like that should be hitting, but whatever. That was close. There's lives. I really do feel that this game is far more generous with the number of lives. I mean, I know I've been save stating it when I feel deaths have been kind of well, not cheap, but. Stuff like Nikki doesn't jump when she should and stuff like that and I'm like, nah, fuck you, like, I'm not dying to that. But, still, I, th I feel compared to the first game, yeah, they really improved on how many hits you can take and everything. And I know I've said that a couple times, but so far is really the, the biggest thing I'm taking away from this game. And oh yeah, I missed them. It's so annoying, I couldn't tell how far they um, were from the, the edge. Because even, like, my health... Like, you, you can take, like, three or four hits before you die, and, and it seems like Nikki's now got some... like, ability... well, almost like armor. So she can take like double that. So way, way better than the original game. Way better than just if you have a power up, you get hit and you lose that. Or if you don't have a power up, you're dead. It's funky music. We. I don't know why there are weird puzzle pieces floating around. Whee. Is 
See, like that. Three lives sitting there. It's just... Pretty sure that the first game never had stuff like that. Or very rarely. It's just a shame that the bonus levels the exact same kind of thing as the first game. I mean, I was terrible at it then. A lot of it's the camera angle. I, I already had hoped that a new game make a new type of bonus thing. Or at least make it easier to, to see. I mean, I guess a lot of it's on me, but like, yeah, I, I would have to practice extremely hard out to, um, yeah, that's better, to get a good amount. I mean, I think my record's like, you know, 15% or something like that, which is really, really fucking low. It's not even close to a quarter of it. So, to be able to get like 60% or something like that, that would be a hell of an achievement. Can we leave the power up, there's no point grabbing it again. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, why? Who are you? And I don't know how that didn't hit me. Like, that seemed like a direct hit to me, and it, it didn't count it. <laughs> and then that... <laughs> it's like a belly shot. And she's dead. And we don't know who she is, or what that was about. <laughs> yeah. This game seems to have a real thing about... Oh, there that goes. A real thing about, um, just killing people for no reason. I'm not saying that Nikki this time killed for no reason. I mean, clearly that was self-defense. But, I don't know, that opening cutscene... I still think about... Either it just, like, didn't translate well. But, yeah, that opening cutscene just totally seems to me like a bunch of people on a cliffside or something just talking amongst themselves and then for some reason Nikki and Fargus are just like, oh, let's fucking kill them. And Nikki's all like, you want a piece of me? While fucking blasting them and it's like, not really, we were just here minding our own business. Like, oh, we're dead now. You're the hero of the game! For some reason I want to bounce off the bug to get onto there, even though I could clearly make it without it. Yeah, and that's why there's a big line of them that I was trying to grab. You can just drop from above. Having to repeat all this again. Oops. Oh yeah. Did a whole grab on and then jump again so you let go business. I don't know why I was doing that either. The hell's that sound? Is it the light? Maybe. Yeah, I decided, uh, we'll go back and try and kill that bug, there might be something there. It was. They're a bit of a confu- well, not confusing enemy, but I'm never sure whether if you jump on the actual body you'll get hurt. Like whether you have to land on the head. But, 
pretty sure there's a few times where I accidentally land on the body and it dies, so it works out. Now yeah, I was trying to work out if I need to land on the leaf or just jump like I did. this I'm like do we just drop what do we do and luckily dropping is the way to go even though it's got down arrow you're still kind of like well do you mean just drop or, or run and jump and I hit it in my head too that those leaves like he's standing on would crumble I don't know why we'd seen nothing to uh, explain that Fuck you. Yeah, you did. Could've kept going, but no, you got me twice, so screw you. Ouch. Floating puzzle pieces. The tree looks kind of cool. And yeah, it's like, do I just keep going? What? Well, what's going on? That's it. The end of level. No deaths. Nice. And yep, a large, large amount of treasure, which. Part of me is like, well obviously I want all the treasure I can get for lives and that, but I'm almost like, if there's an option to do this or not, like do you want to do the puzzle, uh, the bonus round, I would just say no, to be honest. I still give it a, like, an effort, like I don't just deliberately die. But uh, yeah, I'm just, every time it's like, you can do the bonus level, it's like, oh, thanks. Like, for my piddly amount that I can get, it's kind of not worth the time. A lot of it's just the camera angle, I can't, can't see shit. And that's why I really had hoped that they would improve that from the last game. It's like, just zoom it out a bit more, like, make it more 2D looking, kind of like the bonus levels in um, Crash Bandicoot. They were like pretty much side scrollers. So there we go, what did I get? 11%. Yay. Alright, so yeah, that was Puzzle Wood. And next up is Temple of Nori. And um, yeah, that's that. So until next time, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.